I felt that I'm going to do something in agriculture regardless. And then when I got to A-State, I was able to see and able to listen to all these different speakers that came to class, or whether it was on different field trips or with club activities, I was able to kind of see what was also involved in maybe the lending side or the input side. And so that kind of made me think, well, there is so much more involved in agriculture that gives a lot of diversification. <laughs> Let me go put you up, don't <laughs> We have a lot of farm pets. <laughs> My name is Jenna Martin. I'm an agribusiness major, also minoring in strategic communications at Arkansas State University. And my family and I farm in Hickory Ridge, Arkansas, 1,900 acres of corn, rice, and beans in three different counties, Cross, Woodruff, and Jackson County. So I was adopted from Orenburg, Russia in 1998 when I was 16 months old. And ever since then, I've grown up on this farm here in Hickory Ridge. And growing up with the farm has really instilled a passion and a love for agriculture. And when I was five years old, I was involved in 4-H, and ever since involvement in 4-H, I was more exposed to working with the County Extension Office, and then also with all the programs that 4-H had to offer. And it wasn't just geared around like ranching and farming, but it also gave opportunities like in leadership development, in team building exercises, and also in communication. And ever since then, I credit a lot of it to my family, and then I credit a lot to um, working with the Extension Office and the agents and being exposed to um, all that agriculture in the community had to offer. I feel like that really is what um, has built me into who I am today. After high school graduation in 2015, I knew that I wanted to go ahead and pursue a degree in agriculture, but I decided to go to a community college close to home, which gave me the opportunity to be able to still work with Dad on the farm and help him when he needed the help. Um, but ever since an early age, I knew I wanted to be involved with agriculture, not just because it's all I knew, but I knew there was a lot of opportunities. I knew that it was very diverse, and even more so now since I've been at A-State. And since my graduation at the community college with my Associate of Arts degree in 2017, I then transferred to Arkansas State University, majored in agribusiness. I just thought it was a perfect fit because I knew a lot of more of the manual labor side and all that goes into production agriculture, but being able to learn to understand the business side of things is really where I felt I needed to be a little bit stronger. But what, regardless of farming or not, my parents said, you're going to get a degree. They didn't tell me what to get it in or, you know, they're encouraging of either way. If I wanted to stay in agriculture or farming, they decided that I still needed to get that degree to have it to fall back on in case anything were to happen. And I was really, really um, thankful to them now for them pushing me into that degree and for them just making sure that education was a top priority for me first before coming back to the farm. This minute after my plans after I graduate is to still stay involved in agriculture. I wanted to be able to help dad on the farm, but then also was kind of wanting to see what else was involved, like what else was out in the ag industry. But my thing is I'm really an outside person, hands-on, and being able to still stay outside and directly farm and involved in agriculture in that aspect is what I feel like fits me the best. It's kind of odd like even for me to try to use auto steer, like, but it's technology like that that helps because even like myself I know that we're saving um, using that technology. My advice to the younger generation or even those that are, are females wanting to get involved in agriculture is to not just think that maybe since you are a female that farming is not for you or agriculture in general because 32% of the farming population now is made up of females and I think they're getting to realize that this is something that they can do and there's so many opportunities in agriculture whether or not be like directly in farming or just like in agribusiness. We really do need these younger ones that are coming up with this technology in the ag field, even though some people in the general public don't realize that all of those things, science, technology, and the engineering and math are included in agriculture now. Agriculture is not getting left out of that. They like might be interested in technology, but not realize that agriculture has that and is now more than ever. I mean, we're getting to see drones more taking over in agriculture now, and could that be a potential way to go and scout fields or even check on your cattle? I mean, that's the way it seems to be moving, and we're gonna need more people who have those brilliant minds that can bring that to ag. Something simple, I mean like on some of our equipment, our tractors, we have a lot of technology, but then again with the older generation, sometimes it's like, well, how do we actually use it and get the most benefit out of it? And I feel like that's where um, like my generation and people that are in the college now, that's where they need to start stepping up and really taking lead there.